And there has, Greg, been some talk within the league about adding a mid-season tournament. What are your thoughts on that possibility? I mean, with the success of the play-in tournament, which, in full disclosure, I was not for but love now, I can see why they're considering it. Well, here we have a huge moment for MP with in-season awards. He took home his first Player of the Month in his career. And to win Player of the Month, you need to be a special talent. MP showed he can put forth sustained greatness with his play. Here's Rain Man, headed by Powell. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's an awful ball! What did you see there, Rex? Shooting ball, Rain Man. Shooting ball. Or deep. They can win games at either end of the floor. And Miami Smitty really has succeeded in putting together a complete ball club. I mean, from top to bottom, with all the parts needed. I totally agree, Kevin. That was their goal. Build a team that doesn't rely on any one strength. On nights when they're not shooting it well, their defense can pick up the slack. Good. Great floor awareness. Powell knows how to find his open teammates. The pass to Butler. Young against Leonard, down low, Rain Man, and that's good. Lead pass to get it done. Rain Man's got five now. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. Now, Zubac, coming off a solid outing against Indiana. Wall finds George. Leonard with a screen on Buck. From deep, George. Rebound by the Heat. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. <laughs> yeah, they, they were able to maintain focus in a hostile environment, and that led to taking shots that made sense. Rarely frazzled. They play with a pretty even temperature, in my opinion, throughout this entire game. Here's Leonard following the basket by Bam Adebayo. Now here's Paul. He's tightly guarded. 11 feet away, it's Autobio with the rebound. Not the efficient start they were hoping for. Only one for four from the field. Rain Man passes to Autobio. To the middle, Powell with the steal. To the inside, here's Leonard. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Great job by Kawhi. Strong, physical, plays with an edge. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. George dishes the wall. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Sometimes the wall seems just undeniable. Even the contact doesn't slow him down. Inside. Brain Man with the bucket. Brain Man's got seven points. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. George against Buck. Zubac trying to break loose. The shot by George, no good. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Brain Man with the bucket. Clippers trail by five. Wall passes to Zubac. Leonard looking over the floor. Pass to Pop. Here he goes. And the dunk by Powell. Attacking the rim with aggression. Norman Powell putting pressure on the interior D with his driving and finishing abilities. Now the Clippers trading last season for Norman Powell. And uh, as they say, Greg, the rich get richer. Yeah, an excellent two-way player. Uh, their wing depth becoming the envy of the league. And, and he's just coming into his prime. So he fits the timeline of their star. And the basket is good. With this great length and skill, Paul George has no trouble getting points in the paint. 
Here's Rain Man, guarded by Powell. Outside Butler. To the paint, five to shoot. And the call on the shot. That's a foul. You want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Heat. For me, they made a point to attack inside early in the game, and it's paid off for them. A lot of solid looks in the paint. And I really liked how they moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. Beautiful from Kawhi, establishing himself and going to work. Love the confidence. And Deadman throws it down. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. Here's Leonard, following the score by Miami. Morris with the screen for Leonard. And there's the rebound by Dedman. Can't fault the play call, even though he couldn't convert. That's a good shot. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Rain Man with the bucket. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, Kevin, I did speak with head coach Eric Spolstra. They have won their one matchup against this team so far. But he said the first order of business was for them to score against a very tough shot-blocking team inside. He said in a game like this, you can't turn down perimeter looks. They could be the key to victory. We'll see if he's right, Kevin. Thanks, David. No question with the defense they're facing tonight. Coach would like to see Greg them gain some early confidence. Efficiency is key for them. Don't make the mistakes that turn defense into offense. Those mistakes included turnovers, bad shots, and rush shots. All must be avoided if they're to accomplish their goal. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Clippers trail by nine. Powell the pass to Morris. Now here's Powell. He's guarded by Rain Man. Here's Leonard on the mark with the 15-footer. Leonard's got his third basket of the night right there. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. And Morris comes over to help. Here's Autobio. And a lot of contact on that one. Started once he became a starter. And you've seen his scoring go to the roof. So for the Clippers, Dex checked in for Leonard. Luke Kennard comes in for Norman Powell. Mann subbed in for John Wall. Heat also with a sub. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for Kyle Lowry. The Heat leading by six. A minute 42 left in the first quarter. Deadman. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Morris. Batum passes to Mann. Back to Batum. Here's Deck. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, and that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Here's Rain Man. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's a foul. You've got to be kidding me. The Clippers were almost directionless. But they found their place in the NBA becoming a team in the West. And the West, you know, is very difficult. But Steve, for the Clippers, how much of their success is tied to their identity? Kevin, a lot of it. They've become a hard-nosed team, hanging their hat on defense, playing together, making opponents earn everything they get. Yurt Savini's checked in for Bam Adebayo. Here's Rain Man, following the basket by Marcus Morris. Up and in on the layup. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Now, here is Morris. 11 points last game. Man gets the bucket. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Here's Rain Man, and he uses the glass on the layup. Rain Man's got 19 points. 
He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Here's Morris, and that one clearly a foul, gets the whistle. First But that's going to change soon. Max Truce has checked in for the Heat. There's 31 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to Rain Man. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. 22 points for him. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. Here's Morris. Rebound by Rain Man. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And he makes that one. And if you look at this first half, overall, they just had the better shot selection. What they have done is ran their plays all the way through until they get something. <laughs> Damage we expected. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And when you consider how the Heat are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise? Aggressive at running guys to the backboard. You could tell it was part of their game plan coming in. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. On the court for Miami here in the second. Main man is out there with Tyler Hewitt. Then it's Max Drews, and there's Jimmy Butler. And it's your in and at the center, filling out the middle. Here's Rain Man. Plays it up off the glass. Rain Man's got 28 points for the game. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Hero passes to Rain Man. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Rain Man's got 30 points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Passes to Man. Outside, George. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. A reliable jump shooter, Paul George's accuracy only goes up when he catches in rhythm. Rain Man passes to Yurtsevin. And here is Cruz. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Kennard on the wing. This is to Batum. That one goes in. Nice find by Luke. He shows good vision in both half court and. Check in for Los Angeles. John Wall comes in for man. Then for the Heat, Adebayo is checked in for Omer Yurtsevin. Oladipo comes in for Max Drews. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for Rainbane. Shoots from the right block. And Hero finishes inside. Not lacking confidence. Love seeing Tyler go up strong with this one. Wall passes to Zubats. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game. And the Clippers making a change here. Powell's checked in. Heat also with the sub. Young's checked in for Tyler Hero. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Lowry against Wall. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Marcus Morris has checked in for Zubats. Jack comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Batum for Paul George. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Well, guys, they call him Rain Man, and in the last game against the Jazz, had quite a performance. 
He dropped in 34 points and drained a few from downtown. He was unguardable all game long. He took whatever the defense gave up. I'm sure he wants to do that again tonight, Kevin. Okay, David, thanks. It'll be interesting to see, Greg, how much of that performance carries over to tonight. And, Kevin, different scenarios call for different measures. Now, I'm sure he'll just try to provide whatever they need for the win. Well, that's what it means. There are high school refs better than you guys. Way better. Away with the W. The Heat have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. Green, you look at a player putting up big numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers, so to speak? You know, Kevin, it's a, a great question because somebody's going to put up points or, or collect rebounds or get assists. So, you know, you look at efficiency, you, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing teams. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. And he needs to get back to what he was doing. Mac Moe drawing fouls and getting to the line. The Heat have shot the ball well from the free throw line, 8 of 9. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for the Heat. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. That one falls. Rain Man's got 38 points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Morris inside. Deadman defending. Morris passes to Deck. Six to shoot. Here's Man. Batum with the three. Rebound by Rain Man. Well, he leading by 11. Inside, here's Deadman. Plays it up and banks it in. Deadman's got six. Way to attack the interior. Deadman really understands what the team needs from him. Here's Man. He's guarded by Rain Man. There's the pass to Deck. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Man. Rebound by Rain Man. And it's Miami's ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Batum with the steal. He feeds it to Morris. Back to Batum. Here's Mann. That three off the mark. And so it's the Miami Heat looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And we'll be right back after this. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first half performance it's been for the Miami Heat. They move the ball, guys. Very unselfish to keep everyone involved. Got to be willing to make that extra pass. Or you could just dump it in the shack, and the ball never comes out again. That's why they call me the shack hole. All right, guys. Now let's take a look at the possible dunk contest participants. All these guys, high flyers. You see it every night. The creativity around the league. Some of those dunks will end up in the contest. The highlights on the season fueling early voting. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. It's been a clinic out there by Rain Man. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubats. Out on the wings for him, Powell and George. 
and it's Wall in at the point. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. And it's Leonard missing. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Get to to go. That one good from Autobio. With a lethal mix of strength and length, Bam Autobio can wreak havoc down low. Here's Leonard. Second chance shot. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Stolen by Zubac. Leonard with the ball. Now defended by Adebayo. Epic goes in, and the Miami League is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Paul George. Great find by Leonard. When the offense runs through you time and time again, you have to become a good playmaker. Rain man, the shot, no good. And the Clippers will come the other way. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Pass to Zubac, to the left wing. Powell for three. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Wall's got assist number five here tonight. You see why Powell is so valuable. Good athlete, good defender, and can really space the floor. Down low, here's Rain Man, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Rain Man's got 40 points. To victory. And so George will bring it up for Los Angeles. Trailing by 10. Out to the right wing. Wall wide open. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooter. They double him with Wall. A three. And Kyle Lowry with the three. Lowry's got five. I love the response from Lowry. When you drain a three on him, this guy's coming right back at you. Here's Wall. Again, Los Angeles. Well, he leaving by eight. Here's Rain Man. Count it good. Rain Man's got 42 in the game. Down the stretch. This is when they need him the most, and he is delivering. Powell kicks to Zubac. Outside, Wall. Outside, George. Lock at six. Pass to Wall. Fades away. Count it. He's got 13. And that's job number one for Wall. When he's on the floor, be the guy to lead your offense and keep it flowing. And the rejection by Zubac. Passes it to Powell. Beyond the arc. The shot's good on the assist by George. George has got three assists now in this one. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. Frank, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Zubac's a screen on Buck. The kick out to Wall. Powell, no one around him. And so, the ball's out of bounds. Powell touched it last. Back in for Bam Adebayo. And it's the Heat with the ball. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And that one drops for him. Rain Man's got 44. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Uh, let's see, GA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. And, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin. <laughs> but give him credit. To, to battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive role. And with that, the Heat lead is cut back down again to five. The basket that time coming from Powell. From past the arc. And the Heat, another three. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Zubats with the screen for George. And it's George finishing it off. I like how Paul George comes off the screen under control, right up into his shooting motion. Smooth. In the corner, Powell with it. Two 
Zubats in the post. Young's there. Here's Leonard. And good, coming off the assist by Wall. Now that's 17 points for Leonard. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. The kick outside to Butler. Over to the wing. Here's Freeman. No good from outside. Clippers trail by four. A three from Leonard. And it's Lowry with the rebound. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Oladipo, the pass to Rainbow. It's held in by Zubats. Zubats has got his eighth rebound here tonight. At the elbow, it's George. The pass to Pop. Zubats with the screen for power, and it's in there. Now just a two-point heat lead. I love it. Leading by eight. On the floor for Miami, starting fourth. The wing set for him, Hero and Butler. Bam Adebayo is out there with Young. And it's Rain Man in at the point. George against Hero. Shoots from the block. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. A tale of two halves. He's really turned it around here. Scoring the ball. That's tipped. Stolen by George. And now here's George, the fast break opportunity. Ooh, love it, love it. A terrific ball thief. PG-13 knows it's a priority to create turnovers that spark the running game. And on the AT&T 5G slam cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Wall against Butler. And Wall kicks to Zubats. He dishes it to George. Two free throws coming up. And they... He's shown growth as a playmaker. He has, Kevin. He's gotten much better at reading the defense and looking for the best shot available, whether it comes from him or a teammate. It shows in his assist numbers. Norman Powell's checked in for Nicholas Batum. Bam is a pro at absorbing contact, especially when he's locked in on scoring. Here's George. Zubox trying to break loose. Shot is good, and the Heat's lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Paul George. Rain Man passes to Butler. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Adebayo kicks to Hero. Shot clock at six. Pass to Rain Man. And he banks in the layup. 49 points for Rain Man. Continues to develop as a playmaker. It's nice to see Tyler Hero create for others. George passes to Zubats. Outside for George. Pass to Leonard. That falls. Nice feed that time from George. George has got four assists in the game. Young outside. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Pass to Rain. Ball with the steal. Kicks it out to Hero. And he's good on the three ball. And the Heat lead by seven. And certainly they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. George against Buck. Left side, George. Just five to shoot. Here's Powell. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got seven rebounds in the game. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Adebayo with a screen on wall. And good! He hits it again. 
That gives him 51. Making it look easy. George looking over the floor. Drops in the layup for two. George has got 10 points in the quarter. To bring him back. And the Heat making a change here. Lowry's checked in. Here's Rain Man. Floats it up for Adebayo. An emphatic LU jam. Wonderful play. With that long wingspan and huge hands, Adebayo catches and finishes with ease. Lowry against Wall. Leonard sets a screen for Wall. In the corner, Powell with it. And here's Leonard from three. It's hauled in by the Heat. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. To the inside, Rain Man. Good, that's another bucket. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Leonard with a screen on butt. Here's George. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials. At this stage of his career. Greg, he's one of those guys that his teammates respect. A proven champion that plays with toughness and intelligence. And a big part of this team. And Adebayo throws it down. And we've seen a leak from Adebayo recently. Scoring now at a steady clip. All taking his time here. And the dunk by Zubats. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Showing off the dynamic athleticism, Bam is no stranger to rocking the rim. Wall passes to Leonard. Fades and shoots. And he overshot that one, missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Clippers trail by 11. And here's George. All with it. Now the dish to Leonard. Over Butler. Leonard, no luck. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Rain Man with the bucket. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. And so it's Wall with it, bringing it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. The pass to Zubac. Ball's knocked loose. And Wall kicks to George. Wall is screen on butt. And here's George for three. And again, it's the Clippers missing. A Heat leading by 13 to the middle. Here's Adebayo. A solid all-around player. Jimmy Butler understands the importance of sharing the ball with open guys. George against Butler. Inside. Howell's got room. Takes it out to Leonard. Six on the shot clock. Back to Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Young in the corner. Leonard with the steal. There's the feed to Wall. That's good. And it's Leonard with the assist. And that's 15 points for John Wall. Inside, outside, it, it doesn't matter. Like how Wall attacks and looks to score when the opportunity presents itself. I mean. Team. We've got 148 left in the fourth.
And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. Pressure he's putting on them. Almost had that steal. Fantastic anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. George passes to Zubat. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Rain Man. And the layup's good off the glass. Rain Man's got 59 points. You know he's going to take a lot of shots out there. He's their number one option right now. Wall finds Zubats. Entered on the wing. Fires for three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Butler's got four rebounds now tonight. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for Miami. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. He wins on the year now. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Rain Man. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Leonard inside, defended by Young. Just five on the clock. And here's Wall outside. Jimmy Butler comes up with the rebound. And so here is Miami. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Powell finds Leonard. For the three, sinks the three-pointer. There's the response. Kawhi rarely changes expression. But you know what he's thinking. I got your back. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? Have a secret.